So whilst all of our human workforce are excellent, you know, there's definitely a, a variation between different people. People are people. Whereas with robotic systems and autonomous systems, we have the potential that every robot is the best picker and that we could pick our groceries to the exact same tessellation algorithms that we use when we're theoretically working out how we can deliver each one of the customer's grocery items. Humans are great at um, responding to uncertainty and to challenges which, which they haven't come across yet. You know, their ability to use initiative and to deal with unpredictable situations is phenomenal. Uh, not only that, you know, they can assess quality in a way which is still very difficult for our robotic systems. So whilst we're ready to put some robotic systems into production now, the idea of being able to pick the full SKU range and being able to do all the assessments of quality, of damage, dealing with overwrap, dealing with trash, repacking by manual operation. You know, these, these are really big, grand challenges, actually, in the robotics and autonomous systems uh, landscape. There's hundreds of algorithms and pieces of machine learning at play in this warehouse. Um, with about 8,000 of these containers on the move at any one time, it's like choreographing traffic around a city. And uh, that requires an enormous level of complexity, use of big data, lots of sensing, as I say, lots of machine learning, uh, so that uh, it's not only dealing with the steady state, but it's also adapting. So if a piece of conveyor has a problem, the systems have to route around it and find another way. The way to look at it is that Ocado is a net employer of 12,000 people, myself included. None of us would have a job if it weren't for our use of automation and now robotics, because basically that is our differentiator. And over the years, as we've grown, as we've opened new warehouses, as we've expanded our geography, our, our workforce has only increased in size even though the level of automation has also continued to grow. Because what happens is, as a new piece of automation comes in, people just move to something else that, uh, with, that only at that time humans can do. And we, we don't expect that process to, to stop anytime soon.
since the Industrial Revolution or even since before the Industrial Revolution, every time we invent a new technology, imagine going from the Stone Age to the Iron Age, people's, what were essential skills change and new skills are needed. So yeah, we're going to have uh, new robots that have certain roles. Guess what that means? We've got to have people to look after the robots, build the robots, manage them. Um, so I'm afraid that that's kind of the nature of, of human society and the human workplace. Skills change, jobs change.